Welcome to your chakra yoga flow to cleanse your root chakra. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hi, I'm Allie. Please subscribe, like this video, and comment about your yoga experience once you get done practicing with me. And if you're a returning yogi, thank you so much for continuing to meet me on the mat. Now please unroll your mat and let's begin this cleansing root chakra practice. To begin the practice, please lie down on your back. Keep your knees bent and your feet planted once you arrive there. Let your arms splay out to the sides. You can have the palms facing up. Take a moment to anchor here before we begin the practice. Bring your awareness to the base of your spine. This is where your root chakra resides. In addition to it being at the base of the spine, it's everything beneath there. So your legs and your feet, everything that connects you to the earth plane. The element here is earth. And for this practice, we'll be working with the attributes of strength, structure, and stability and safety, support, and security. We'll be working towards creating an experience that leaves us feeling grounded, rooted, present, calm, and relaxed. Allow yourself to settle into the experience we're about to have, Enliven your breath and use your breath, directing it into the base of your spine to anchor your awareness here on the mat, here in this moment, here for this yoga practice. Awareness at the base of the spine, root chakra, muladhara, the first energy center in the chakra system, the foundation of the whole system. Awareness at the base of your spine. Whole breath to anchor before we begin. Bring your arms to rest down by your side, palms touching the earth plane. Bring your feet to be hip width distance and your knees tractioning directly over your feet. Begin to hug your abdominals in, so corset your waist. On inhale, Push into your feet, lift your hips, and bring your arms overhead. Exhale, lower your hips back down and your arms to your returning position. Again, move through bridge pose, lifting your hips, bringing the arms overhead. Exhale, lower back down. Continue to move like this. Inhale, push down through the big toe mound. Push down through the heel, lifting the hips as the fingertips come overhead. Exhale, lower back down. Do that four more times. Inhaling to push down through the big toe mound, lifting the hips, reaching the fingertips, exhaling, lowering down. Three more. 
feeling the strength, the structure, the stability of your body, of the earth plane beneath you. Last one. Feeling the safety, the security, the support that you're cultivating through moving like this. Now meeting me up in a seated posture, you can come onto your side to get there or rock forward and back on your spine to meet me. You choose what's best for you. You'll meet me in a seated upright posture. For this upright posture, please cross your legs. Bring your fingertips to rest on your shoulders and your elbows out nice and wide, moving into some root chakra breath work. On an inhale, lift your knees and your fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, fingertips and knees come back down. Keep moving like this. Last one, close your eyes, release your hands to your thighs, go inside for a moment, pause, process. Send your roots down, lift your crown high. See, sense, feel the foundation beneath you. Strength, structure, stability, safety, support, security. And open your eyes, meet me in a tabletop posture. Moving through dynamic child's pose. So we start in tabletop posture. Inhale to cow. Exhale, balasana. Inhale, cow. Exhale, balasana. Inhale, cow. Exhale, balasana. Two more. This time, inhale, cow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl the toes under. Push down through the hands to lift the hips back and high. You might need to adjust the width of your feet and your hands and then come back down, soften the knees, cow pose. This is your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, soften the knees, cow pose. Exhale, take it back down, dog. Inhale, soften the knees. You might wanna keep your toes tucked under for this dynamic movement, cow pose. Exhale, down dog. Three more times. Exhaling, down dog. Keep your awareness at the base of the spine as much as you can as you move through this movement. Hold in downward facing dog now. Refine the pose, so push down through your hands, specifically through the L shape, the thumb and the pointer finger. Push the earth plane away by firming the forearms, wrapping the armpits towards the heart. Relax the ears in line with the biceps. See if you can tilt your pelvis higher towards the sky. Engage your abdominals gently, bringing navel to spine. If you've got a bend in your knees, really push down through the balls of the feet. If your legs are straight, let your heels become heavy. Two more breaths. Soften the knees down, let the knees go wide. Come into child's pose, reach through the fingertips, lengthen through the side body, relax the forehead to the mat. Inhale here, inhale strength. 
Exhale, safety. Inhale, structure. Exhale, security. Inhale, stability. Exhale, support. Come into plank pose, so come back up. Meet me in a plank pose. We'll move back and forth from plank to downward facing dog. You can also move back and forth from plank. You can bring your knees down, come forward to a modified, and send it back to child's pose. And this will be your dynamic movement, okay? Otherwise, come into plank pose. Firm your body. Strength, structure, stability. Safety, support, security. Push the earth plane away. Let it be your foundation. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. A few more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now walk your feet towards your hands and come into a forward fold. Bend the knees. Relax your chest down towards your thighs. Relax your head and neck. You can clasp both arms, clasping the elbows. Sway from side to side. Awareness at the base of the spine, root chakra, muladhara. Connecting with your root system, breathing down through the channels of your legs, back up into your body. If you've got your hands, release them. Heel toe your feet to hip width distance. On an inhale, bend your knees deeply, drop your hips, lift your chest, come into Utkatasana. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit back in your heels, drop your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale and fold. Two more. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Last one. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Push down through the earth plane to lift up. Reach your fingertips high. Exhale, bring your hands down through heart center. Inhale, take the arms high. Gaze up, reach through your whole body. Exhale, fold through the midline. All the way down, navel stays back as you transition there. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, send the right foot back and keep the knee lifted for a runner's lunge. So you'll probably be on the fingertips here to get more length. Lengthen from the right heel all the way up through the crown of the head. Inhale here. Exhale to hover the right knee. Inhale and lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. And hover and lift. Last one. Now soften the right knee down. Hinge the hips back for half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Point this left toe, really point here. Come forward, low lunge. We'll move back and forth. Take it back, half splits, point the left toe. Inhale forward, low lunge. Fingertips stay down for this whole transition. If you need to block up, please do so, placing blocks under your hands. Keep moving, inhale forward, low lunge. Exhale back. Awareness at the base of the spine, breathing into your legs as you move here. 
Last one. Come forward, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Push down through your hands, push down into the foundation of the earth plane. Inhale, strength, structure, stability. Exhale, safety, support, security. Find your downward facing dog. Feel grounded, feel rooted. And step the right foot forward now. Keep the back left knee lifted, runner's lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, hover the left knee and lift. Hover the knee and lift. Keep moving. Three more. Last one. Now soften that left knee down. Hinge the hips back, straighten the front leg, point the right toes for a half split variation and come forward into a low lunge. Take it back. This is your exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. few more times. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one. Come forward. Curl the left back toe under. Step to the top of the mat. We're coming into what I call elephants. So elephants are a fun root chakra exercise. We want the hands planted on the ground. So bend the knees as much as possible to get your hands flat on the ground here. Now elephants look like this. So the inhale breath, we bend our knees and we gaze forward just a little bit. On the exhale, we reach our hips high. We come almost to straight. We extend the legs, but we don't lock out the knees, okay? Super important. When we lock the knees, we cut off the energy. So plant your hands. If you need to have them on blocks, that's totally okay. Inhale here, bend your knees, gaze forward a bit. Exhale, lift your hips, almost come to straight. Head and neck come down. Keep moving like that at a fast pace. Building energy in the legs, connecting with the earth plane, invoking strength, structure, stability, safety, support, security, keep moving. Pause. You might be a little dizzy. Pause. Collect yourself. Walk your feet wider, toes facing out, heels in, and start to lower yourself into Malasana Yogi Squat. So take your time. Find your Malasana, your Yogi Squat. Elbows come to the interior, hands at prayer. Push into your legs to lift up here. Take five breaths. Option to stay here, option to place a block underneath of you, make this more restorative, or come with me to lift up and down out of Malasana. So inhale, push down through your heels, down into the earth plane. Come all the way up, lift the hands high. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time. Exhale, lower. Hold here. Last breath. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. We're moving into Shavasana, so let the legs go wide. Start to come all the way down to a lying down position. Add any props that you want. Otherwise, make any final movements. Awareness at the base of your spine, the root chakra. This is your root system. It's what connects you to the earth plane. It's connected to your safety, your security, your support, strength, structure, and stability. It's your physical body. Awareness at the base of your spine. And begin to breathe from your knees to the crown of your head. Inhaling knees to crown, crown to knees. And do that 27 times, counting backwards from 27. Inhale, knees to crown. Exhale, crown to knees. Starting at 27 and counting backwards. Allowing yourself to soften into Shavasana as you breathe. As you hone your awareness at the root chakra, Muladhara.
Begin to deepen your breath. Feel how your body rises and falls against the earth plane with each deeper breath you take. As your body reawakens, meet me in a fetal posture on your favorite side. Bottom arm acts as a pillow. Pause for a moment. Notice how you feel. Notice the calming, the grounding, the rooting, the relaxing sensations from this practice. On an inhale, make your way up to a seat. Keep your eyes gently closed down. Bring hands to prayer in front of the heart and we'll close with the root chakra mantra, LAM. We'll say it three times together. Inhale. LAM. 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 A whole breath to anchor. Open your eyes. Welcome back to the physical space. Thank you so much for joining me for that chakra yoga flow to cleanse your root chakra muladhara. Remember, if you're new here, please subscribe to become part of my yoga community and to practice more yoga with me from the comfort of your home. Like, comment, let me know how you're feeling after this practice. And if you haven't already, come join the Chakra Challenge. It's my free seven-day Chakra Challenge that teaches you the Chakra system. All right, I'll meet you back here on the yoga mat.